It was three years ago today. Maine recorded its first and only fatal shark attack. It happened during a summer when shark sightings were plentiful. There were six confirmed sightings in a span of just a few weeks back in 2020, including that deadly encounter on Bailey Island south of Harpswell. That's when a kayaker was attacked by a great white in Mackerel Cove. Since then, scientists have been stepping up their tracking of sharks. New Center Maine's Sam Olson gives us a look at how they do it. These animals have evolved and adapted to their environments, and they have been in this area for a really long time. Matt Davis is a marine resource scientist for the state's Department of Marine Resources. It's his job to keep track of sharks as they move through waters off the main coast. This here is called an acoustic receiver. We use these to uh, essentially put them in a fixed location. And any shark that's been tagged with a transmitter like this will ping the receiver in the water. Davis says researchers in Cape Cod have been tagging sharks for the past decade. It's estimated that there are 250 tagged white sharks in our region. The buoys can help researchers pinpoint where they are, where they've been, and maybe where they're headed. But the areas where we see the most shark activity are here. At Ragged Island, just east of Bailey's Island, and Hermit Island. Davis says in total, receivers have picked up 60 different white sharks along our coast since they started tracking them in August of 2020. The more sharks we tag, the more we see where they go, when they go, uh, where they occur, um, you know, and it's eye opening for a lot of people. That was News Center Maine's Sam Olson reporting. Davis says Maine's Department of Marine Resources hasn't started tagging white sharks just yet, but it has started tagging some of the seven other shark species off the coast of Maine.